Hey guys, Kevin here from Webit.net, uh, doing a quick webisode here. Um, what I wanted to do in this webisode was just uh, do a really quick one on um, a another Linux-based one, Linux server-based one. And I know that I found it useful on many instances to have a lightweight remote desktop environment on a Linux server. I know most of the time with Linux servers, you remote with command line and um, whether it's SSH or whatever. Uh, but sometimes it is useful to have a graphical user interface, but um, the whole nature of having a Linux server is to have it as lightweight as possible. So what I wanted to do was show you guys a really, really simple and awesome way to have a lightweight desktop environment for for Linux. Uh, this is actually the same Ubuntu that we built the LAMP server on. So let's uh, I'm going to go ahead and log into it. So right now I'm just accessing the server directly. Whoops. I think this is correct. There we go. All right. All right. So right now it's just really just a simple, plain old machine. There's just that really simple uh, lamp setup that we have on here. So there's nothing, nothing special about it. But I am going to install uh, a um, lightweight X11 desktop environment, aka LXDE. So like you know how there's KDE and Genome or Gnome um, and other desktop environments for Linux. Those are a little bit on the heavy side. There's a lot of um, components that are required for those to run. Well, LXDE is Lightweight, so it's an extremely fast and a very, very low budget, if you will, as far as energy consumption and processor consumption, uh, desktop environment. And uh, a lot of developers use this on machines that have very low CPU. Uh, you know, very, you know, whether the this the CPU itself is weak, has very low resources, or it's a you know really fast or nice machine, but you want to run software at a low footprint. So the intention here is that not necessarily that this machine is weak or you know whatever, but that we want to run a graphical interface on it, but we want it to have a low footprint. So it's a server that we do want to be able to maybe occasionally do an RDP to and uh, actually have a desktop that we can use. So we're going to install it and to do it in uh, Linux, that's pretty easy. We can do sudo apt dash get it install and this will be lightweight. So that's L X D E. All right, cool. So it's going to take a few seconds here to install. Okay, excellent. Now that we have our desktop environment installed, I'm going to go ahead and clear the, the screen. And now I'm going to install XRDP, which will allow us to do a remote desktop connection. So basically what it does is it allows us to do an RDP and then via, uh, it sort of wraps a uh, VNC client around that so that we can do a, we can use the Windows remote desktop to then see and use that desktop. So now I should have a, I uh, have that, that desktop client running. So let's do a sudo. I'll go ahead and clear the screen. That way it's a little bit easier to see. So we'll do a sudo start L XDM. So, so this is the actual graphical interface. So I'm going to reboot the machine. Okay. Let it do its thing here. So now we have our lightweight desktop environment. So let me log in and so here is my desktop environment so now if i so this is what it looks like so the cool thing is now we could actually remote desktop to this but before i do this let me get the um if config so 1.76 is the address so let me log out all right so now that i've done that i can pull over my windows remote desktop 176 all right and it's asking me to connect Okay, so here's the RDP session. So um, I can do Wibbit net, which is the user ID. And would you look at that? I was able to successfully use RDP to access my server. So this is pretty useful. I mean, I've used this many times on uh, remote servers. I've used it on AWS before. I've used it on servers that I've had in my local network, uh, just so that if I wanted to, I could do a remote desktop to it. So I could do simple stuff, like if I wanted to install a web browser, or if I just wanted to access some remote or, or some graphical user interface application or something. I don't know. There's numerous reasons why. You may want to have a uh, graphical interface on a server, but so this is a simple way that you can have a graphical inter interface as well as a remote desktop environment on a Ubuntu server. So in this case, this is that web server that we built. So this has that lamp stack. So if I were to open up a text editor, like leaf pad and go to file open and let's see here, file system, var, triple W, HTML, index.php this should look familiar <laughs> 
So cool. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's pretty useful. Um, pretty useful little thing uh, to have in your tool set. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.